Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I want to talk about the different bank accounts that I have and why I have more than one. So basically I have five bank accounts as you can see and that's because I found that when I had just one account and I was putting all my money into that single account, uh, things were getting quite confusing and I used to overspend on some categories and dig into other categories and also I found it really difficult to keep a record of why the money is there for and for which category has saved up. So in order to eliminate that I opened up a few more bank accounts and right now I have a total of 5 bank accounts and I feel like this is such a good number because I have now segregated all my fund and I have designated each of my savings account for a particular job and managing my finance has become so much more easier. So without further ado, let's dive into it and understand how I'm using all these five accounts that I have. So the first account that I have, I have named it my checking account and this is the account where my salary is credited each month. If you're somebody who watches my videos, you must have seen that I always budget for my subscriptions and this category is for recharging my phone, Netflix, Tata Sky, etc. So uh, these recharges, I prefer to do it online and therefore I feel like it's better to keep this money in the bank than to keep it in cash with me. And therefore, my subscription category money that I budget out, that is kept in my checking account. And checking account is the account where I like to do my online transactions. I also have a buffer category that I keep in this account. Right now, I do not have any money in my buffer category because it has been quite some time. I have not budgeted out anything for buffer, but I'll be starting again because I think this is a very, very important category. And... You know, sometimes we have unbudgeted expenses and I do not want to keep diving into my savings account to take out money for unbudgeted or surprise expenses. The second account that I have is my savings account or my emergency fund account. I always take out 10% of each of my income and I keep saying that I keep it in the bank. So this is the bank account where I keep that 10% of my income and this is my backup actually. This money is only for emergency situations. This account doesn't have an ATM card attached to it because I don't want to make it very easy to take out the money. But it does have a checkbook facility and the bank is very near my home. The third account is my sinking fund account and here I keep my PPF money, my LIC money and my rent money. So PPF is something that I deposit once every month because if you're somebody who deposits into PPF, you must know that we can only deposit 12 installments in a year. So what I basically do is I take out 5%. I always take out 5% of my income, any income, and then I keep on saving in this bank account. Like for example, this is the month of May and in the month of May, any income that I get, I take out 5% and I keep depositing into this account. And in the 2nd or 3rd of June, I transfer that money that I've accumulated in the month of May and transfer it into my actual PPF account. I hope that makes sense to you. I also have an LIC account and this is something that I deposit every six months. But every month I take out 2,460 and I deposit into this sinking fund account and let it collect there. And after six months, when it's time to pay my premium, I take out the money from this account and I pay for my LIC. I also have a rent sinking fund here and I always take out 20% of my rent income and deposit it here into this account. This category is for any emergencies regarding the rooms that I've rented out because you know there might be any emergency like electricity problem or water problem or the, the rooms might need a renovation or upgradation. So in cases like that, I don't want to be pulling money out of my savings account or from the income of that particular month when that problem will arise. So the fourth account is my business account. And into this account, I always deposit 20% of my business income. And all of my business transactions are done from this account. So what I basically do is whenever I have any um, emergency cases relating to my business setup or also on months when I have not earned anything from my business but I have to pay the rent, the electricity fees and everything. All that comes out from this account. 
and the last account that I have is my short term savings account and this account is basically goal oriented like for example if I have a goal to save something like say I need to save 10,000 to go on a trip <laughs> so what I do with that is I set the goal and I keep on accumulating the money here so yeah for purposes like that I like to keep that money into this account so that I don't mix up because I don't want to spend that money into any other thing but only for the goal that I'm saving up for so these are the accounts that I have and are you somebody who also manages your money with multiple bank accounts or are you someone who can you know function with just one bank account do let me know in the comment section below I would love to know that and this is all I have for today until the next time take care and bye